Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to the Storytime Family. How are you guys today? Have you been enjoying reading by yourself? That sounds awesome. Well, today I have a book called "Little Panda and Her Super Heart" by Martha Elmanza Esteva and Sylvia Romero Andres. Let's have a look, shall we? Little Panda and Her Super Heart. This is Little Panda. She has a very important secret. Little Panda knows she's a superhero. She does not know where her superpowers are. They might be hiding or taking a nap. All she knows is that she has to find out where they are, no matter what. Magnifying glass in hand, Little Panda is ready for her very important mission. Are superpowers swimming in the river? No, they're not. Are they hiding in a bamboo forest? They're not. But this is delicious. What about inside the trunk of a tree? Not there. Some days, little panda feels weak and does not want to eat. She does not even want a teeny tiny bamboo leaf. What about fish? Asked Bluebird. No thanks, says Little Panda. Or a pumpkin? Bluebird says. I'm not hungry. Little Panda replies. This is not normal for Little Panda. She's usually full of bamboo and beans. Something must be wrong. Today, Little Panda is more tired than usual. She feels a bit weak too. Daddy Panda decides to take her to the hospital. Doctor Duck and Nurse Bear are ready to help them. They have to do some checks to find out how to help. The blood pressure monitor tells them how strong Little Panda's heart is. The three ECG stickers look like traffic lights. They show the rhythm of Little Panda's heart. This magic red light is the pulse oximeter. It shows how well Little Panda is breathing. The frog thermometer shows if she is too hot or too cold. The echo machine is big. Doctor Duck takes pictures of Little Panda's heart while she stays very still. The test doesn't hurt, but it takes a long time. While Little Panda waits. Daddy Panda tells us stories and funny jokes. You've been super brave so far, Little Panda. We are very proud of you. The last check is a blood test, says Nurse Bear. I'll sing some songs for you. Which song is your favorite? Little Panda has been the bravest panda in town. When her blood tests are done, the doctors know what's going on. They know why she does not even want the tastiest bamboo, and why she sometimes feels too tired to climb trees. Little Panda's heart is sick; she needs a new heart. She will wait in the hospital until her new heart arrives. Mommy and Daddy will be there with her. There is a big team looking after Little Panda in the hospital to help her feel better while she waits. There are Nurse Bear, Doctor Duck, Fox the play specialist, Bunny the physiotherapist, Tiger the radiographer, and Monkey the dietitian. While Little Panda waits for her new heart, medicines help her to feel better. Sometimes she needs a nasogastric tube so she can have a full tummy, even if she does not feel hungry. Other animals waiting for a new heart sometimes need a bit of extra strength. Doctor Duck connects a great machine to their hearts. It helps their hearts pump blood around their bodies. 
Little Panda waits and waits and waits for her new heart to arrive. Some days go fast and are busy. Some days are slow and tiring. She loves making crafts and having cuddly naps with Mummy. She loves coloring with Dad and playing instruments with a play specialist. She loves saying hi to everyone who comes to see her every day. Finally, they get the call. Little Panda's new heart is ready and waiting for her. She grabs her teddy and holds her mommy and daddy's hands as they go to the theater together. I'm worried. I don't want it to hurt. Will I feel it? No, little panda. It won't hurt. They will give you a special sleepy medicine so you are asleep during the operation. You won't feel any pain. When it is finished, mommy and daddy will give you a big cuddle. With a kind smile, Cat, the anesthetist, gives Little Panda her special medicine. Little Panda falls asleep. While Little Panda's eyes close, Mommy whispers in her ear, "When you wake up, we'll be right here." Little Panda dreams about bamboo, flowers, and rivers. It's so beautiful. When she wakes up, she sees her mommy. She could not be happier. Suddenly, little panda realizes the superpower she was looking for had found her instead. They weren't in the forest, in the river, or in a tree. They are here inside me. Little panda is a super panda. Her new heart is a superpower. It is a super heart. And that was little panda and her super heart. Do you have a super heart? A super heart that's super kind and loving. The world could use more of that, for sure. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you like to own a copy of this book, the links to purchase it are in the description below. Do give us a like and subscribe if you haven't, and click on the bell for more stories. Thanks so much for dropping by today. We can't wait to see you back here again. You take care and enjoy reading. Bye bye.